right, guys, let's get ready to watch this trailer together. This is the first time I'm seeing this. I'm super excited. Uh, we've only ever seen tra uh, teasers. So let's see what the real thing's gonna show us. <laughs> Gosh, there's literally so much. There is literally so much. Okay, so I actually worked on this pack. <laughs> I've, I've been working really hard on my building recently. That's why you've been seeing a few more building videos. And I got asked to build um, two lots in this park, which is so freaking exciting. So I've already um, seen the park. I've seen the worlds in it. I've had a play with some of the features that you saw in that trailer that we're gonna be going through in just a moment's time. And um, yeah, that was really freaking cool. So the two lots I've built, I, I don't know how much more I can say about them. So I'm just gonna, they weren't in the trailer. So you won't have seen them in the trailer, but I can tell you guys that I built two lots. They're very like, the two lots that I built are very different to each other. I wanted to have like two very different things. And I worked my butt off on these. I spent so freaking long over such a long period of time where there's a bunch of other people that will be announcing that they did the same thing as well, that they also worked on some lots for this. Everyone else in this is like so talented. So when um, they came to like asking us about the lots that we wanted to do, I basically said, I will take the stuff that nobody else wants. Cause I feel like they'll be so, theirs is gonna be so amazing that like I didn't want the coolest and most amazing stuff to be built by me. I wanted it to go to really incredible builders that have built their entire channel around being like incredible at building. So the lots that I picked were the ones that kind of like nobody else was as interested in doing, but that's fine. Cause I was really excited just to give them a go. Um, building for a game is very different to building like um, myself, like I would do for you guys. Um, you've got, you're really limited. Uh, Cause the, the game has got to run for everyone. So it's got to run for people on console, on like uh, PCs that aren't as strong. Like it's got to work for everybody. You're really limited. Like you've got to think about, okay, you can only use X amount of wallpapers or only place X amount of stuff per room or like per entire lot. You can't use like move objects. You can't use move objects. You can't use debug. Uh, you can't use alt placement. Um, so it's very different. Uh, no CC. Yeah, that was the hardest thing. No CC. <laughs> Everyone is going to see it. And I know that people are going to probably tear me apart for some parts of it. I just hope that I've made, I've filmed videos of me building them. And I talked a lot about, about the things that I had to change because of um, just the way that the game ships. You, I had to change 
change a lot and I had to strip a lot of stuff down, add some stuff, remove some stuff. It wasn't like exactly what I would have originally done. What I will do is I still love, I love the way that they shipped, but I will probably either stream or film a video of me then switching it up to like what I envisioned it. I will say that one of them is very planty. One of them I was given really free reign on the garden and I kind of went wild. Um, because as you guys can see, the pack is based on England. I wanted to kind of bring that across. So what I think we will do now is I, I'm re I'm trying to be careful and not say, I don't know what I can and can't say. I just know that I can announce my involvement in this. So I'm not going to go into, all I'm going to talk about with the trailer is the stuff that you guys can see and I can see. When we're looking at the trailer, I'm not going to be like, oh, and I tried this and this happened because that's not fair on the Sims team. They worked really hard on this pack and it should be them that gets to show all the extra stuff. I am so scared about like what the community is going to think about the, build, the lots that I've built, but I gave them my all. I tried my very, very best. I tried my very, very best. So let's go ahead and have a little nosy through the trailer and uh, see what has been announced because there's a lot in here that I had no idea about. Oh, also, if it's kept in, something I did on my build made it into law in the game. I, if you'd have told young Claire this, I actually contributed to sim law. I actually contribute to Sims Law. So, okay, let's have a little nosy at the trailer together and see if there's any stuff that we can like spot and go through. We're gonna have another little nosy again. So, straight away, the English vibes are strong. This little wall here, very Englishy. I'm kind of almost getting a little bit of a um, Disney sort of vibe as well. Very Disney vibe. Uh, we saw the rabbit go into this little, um, there's a rabbit, but there's a little tree trunk that it went into at the end, uh, which looks like maybe that's where the rabbits live. And there is a little birds in the tree, the little birdies in the tree here as well, so exciting this is the new pack cottage living when i was filming my videos for it I, we didn't know what the pack was going to be called so i think it, i called it get english because as you can guys can tell it's it's definitely a very englishy vibes very cute englishy vibes this here actually looks so similar to a ruin that we've taken the dogs on that i asked if it was inspiration it wasn't but it literally looks like it does the rabbits are very peter rabbit with the little uh the little knitted like little jumper number on there as well i think you guys can also to see some of the new clothes so this is like it's old school english and it is like as an english person this isn't how we are but it's a romantic version of england and like you know i'm sure that you know it's solani's based on like polynesian culture polynesian culture probably doesn't look like solani it's a romanticized version i'd say this feels like a romanticized version of england but that's nice like i would much rather that be in my park than like you know brexit this is the version of england i want to live in as well yes guys Thatched cottages. Thatched cottages. Um, yeah, amazing. There's a bunch of these near where I live. Where I live is kind of rural. It is incredibly cottage core. This is a new door. Think maybe a new window as well. New like roof additions, new clothes. New hair by the looks of it. A whole variation of bun buns. My uh, my aunts and uncle and my cousins actually had a bun bun that looked just like this called Jessica, I think, when I was younger. This color pattern. Uh, we've also got a white rabbit. Very Alice in Wonderland. And we've got the little, oh, there's another one here, a brown one. And then the little Peter Rabbit one too. I feel like this is new. Might be like a bird spawner. I'm just guessing. I have no idea because I, I didn't see that when I was making it. No, we didn't have access to everything because not everything was in the game yet. Roof toppers. Little roof toppers here on the thatched roof, which is so cute. This jacket, oh my gosh, especially where I live, rural and it, it has a posh rural vibe. And this that he's wearing here is basically barber. This is how people dress. These little barber coats. I mean, does he have hunter wellies on? That is, okay, yeah, hunter wellies in a barber jacket. That is very much um, on trend. Also, um, I didn't realize, this is how honestly I'm kind of quite, I have selective intelligence, and but I also have selective stupidness. <laughs> I thought you could swim after an update in all areas of the sim world because the update came out on where I lived at the time in sims I tried it and you could so I'm like oh great you can swim everywhere Then I sw tried to swim in Windenburg recently and realized I couldn't swim everywhere and So this actually looks well it is it's swimmable water So this is an area that has swimmable water again 
I, I'm going to make sure I don't over talk about stuff and say things about areas. I'm going to keep it zip for now and see what has been talked about and released. I don't want to accidentally leak everything because that would just be classic Claire. This looks like a town center. Very, very English town center. These like little shop fronts here. Where I live is very, there's a lot of Tudor, original Tudor buildings and they overhung. And there she is. There she is. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I know people are going to be very, very hyped about Agnes. Agnes crumple bottom. Is that right? Again, I'm not the best when it comes to Sims law, even though I am now am Sims law. People on the call were getting really hyped about this and I'm like, oh, I'm not like up on my law enough because I tend to just make my own law in Sims. But I know that people are very excited about this and it looks like there's going to be like a big role because we saw like the, um, the village contest and stuff. So that looks like it's going to be really, really cool. Some new outfits again. I feel like this is new. The little skirt. This is like, look, look, look. There's a stall here, I think selling flowers. And a little well or something in the middle. Very cute. Okay, so there she is in all of her glory. We've her little pearls and her heart. Yep, there we go. The classic smack of the bug. So you could do that in all the games. And um, she still does it in this by the looks of it, which is amazing. Yeah, here is a beautiful cottage being built. Let's just take a second to look at this for a minute. So, adorable cottage in build and buy mode with a thatched roof. Um, And the thatched roof has these like roof cuppers at the top and this is in build and buy mode so this is all stuff you guys can use uh, this is incredible right and then um to the back here vegetable farm to the front to the side agriculture i'm seeing a chicken coop or as satas would say a chicken co-op i'm pretty sure i said that in my video as well there is a coo, a cow right here there is also a llama this isn't my build don't worry this is i think they build stuff for the trailers honestly this is better than mine but i wouldn't have been able to place that many objects nowhere near and there's a llama as well i, I had no idea that llamas were coming so that's really really cool very adorable vibes i'm trying to see if there's anything else new we've got some hay bales and then did you guys see that did you guys see that i mean it's in the trailer so like yeah the water how exciting is that that is a pond made in i'm not leak i'm like this is literally in the trailer that is a pond made in build by mode yeah, yeah, yeah. the ponds are there I mean, they are literally showing the house being built and then the ponds being built. Animals placed in the pond. Animals placed in the pond. So, very cool. And a mushroom. A little mushy room, which is really cool. Can I see? That's a swan. I would not place them on your lots. Swans are evil. Swans are actually the spawn of the devil, it is known. The bun bun's running up to the house. This path kind of looks... It's got little flowers on it. I think that looks new. New clothes for kids, maybe, by the looks of it there. Yeah, these are new. And I think these are new as well. So the window and the plant pots are all new. Oh! <gasps> Her top's got little mushrooms on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling mushroomy. I am feeling mushroomy. And yeah, is that another Barber-esque? He's taking his sleeves off. This guy's... I'm kind of feeling this guy though. I, I want to see, see him up. A lot of this looks new. That hair is new with the little tie on it. And guys, 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 guys. Look at my backdrop. Look at my backdrop. You see this? This is uh, based on Wisteria. Wisteria grows like everywhere in, um, in, in, at this time, it doesn't grow everywhere, that's a lie. Old buildings grow wisteria on them in the UK. Some new ones do, but you see it in a lot of really beautiful old buildings. And whenever you go by, you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love wisteria. If you watched, um, what is the show I'm thinking of? Riverdale, no. What's the show with the dresses? Um, I want to say Rizzlington, Bridgerton. There we go. If you watch Bridgerton, you will have seen an awful lot of that. And yep. You can place Wisteria on your house. Look, Wisteria's in the background. Also a bun bun and a barrel, very exciting. Um, this gate here also looks new with a little lock on it too. And there's like a little thing on the door there as well. Very cute. He's thinking about a pumpkin. And oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the crops. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think that's bun bun home. But yeah, look, so these look like the pumpkins he was thinking of. I don't know what they are. I'm not croppy enough to know. Got a new little um, stool here as well. And the bun bun's just there amongst him. Okay, I didn't know this was coming. This is, I love, no, maybe I did. No, I did, I did. Llamas, obviously being a huge part of The Sims, like since forever. And now we've actually got llamas in uh, our game as well. It looks like we can breed llamas and also shave them. And I'm assuming sell like their fur and stuff, which is really, really cool. This looks like the little llama hut too. So very, very cool. The bun buns are just hanging out everywhere, everywhere. The llama doesn't look too happy about being sheared. Um, she's accidentally 
like sheared him too much. And as a result, he yeeted their little shearer into the air, which I love. And uh, yeah, this is the chicken co-op. This right here is the little chicken co-op. What I'm really liking from this is it looks like there's a bunch of new interactions for children. As I said, I, don't, I didn't know a lot of this stuff and I didn't know that toddlers would be able to interact, which is so cute. There's also a very cute bug pack on this child as well. This looks new, this double layer. Double layer is smart in England, although not at the moment because I'm dying of the heat, but uh, he's got his little double layer coat on. He's got his adorable bug pack and he's interacting with the chickens. Look at this. This chicken has a top hat and this chicken has like rain a rainbow jacket on, which makes me think maybe you... Maybe chicken breeding isn't just as simple as breed a chicken. It makes me think maybe you can aim for stuff with your chicken breeding, which is obviously very, very cool. He's, I love his heart. His heart's very cool. But yeah, the toddler interacting here is very, very cute. Putting down something onto his pumpkins, which are now grow. Wait, are they watermelons? No, good. He's growing his goats and he's putting something on them. I'm assuming it's gonna make them grow faster. Look at that. So you can do this like, cross stitchy thing this little adorbs thing and then you can frame them on the wall look at the one in the background also new wallpaper and i love that the kid's doing it and looks like you can bring rabbits inside your house i don't know if you can tame them i don't know what the deal is there rabbits can be brought inside the house new fireplace in the background there as well new painting uh new bookends with the two rabbits new dresser i think as well uh new little basket with the pillows and rugs yeah cross stitched them very very cute embroidering very very cute so, uh, also new rug new rug as well everything in this picture i think is new so very cute i love oh and a little fox a little wild foxy sneaking up on uh, mr wabbit here but the llama is having none of it and a spot which makes me think the llamas will be able to spit at us that should be fun <laughs> um, anything else I can spot here? I'm seeing a hay bale. Other than that, everything looks pretty standard. He's weeding his... Okay, so you have to weed them just as... Oh, <gasps> You have to weed them in the same way as like you would do regular planting because obviously we, we already had gardening But we didn't really have like full-on industrial farming And I'm kind of wondering if the stuff you can grow in your garden if there's gonna be like new recipes for it and stuff That would be really really cool. We will check the about page in a second It will tell us more about the website, but you can um, be getting eggs and stuff on the eggs that will hatch into little chicks You can this is the new hair that I was showing with the little thing Um, you can milk the cows which is really cool So you can give the cows um, a little milch if if you um, were so inclined. Okay, this scene has a lot to unpick. I don't know if they've just timed it to make it look like everyone's doing something together. If this is actually a group cooking. Can you group cook in the new park? I genuinely don't know, but that would be really cool. But the kid is cooking. So the kid isn't just like getting a quick meal, like a ham and cheese sandwich. The kid has actually got an egg. I'm guessing the egg from the garden and is cooking, which is really, really cool. Mom is making something here. We've got like the little, uh, she's popping something on the bread. And there is a picnic basket as well. So three potential new things here one picnics, which would be top tier two kids cooking and three um, Group cooking, so I really hope that's the thing but new fridge by the looks of it. This looks new new um, Kitchen stuff this here like the hot pot looks new as well. This is new uh, This has got a plant on it, which I'm very excited about this is all new new little stuff this is everything in this screen right now is new. Uh, so very, very cool looking. Very, very cool. I love that the kid's cooking. I think that's really cute. She's hoping no one's noticed. And then we're outside afterwards having a picnic. So I don't know if maybe you drag things into the picnic basket and then if you leave the home, they're all in the picnic basket together which would be really cool. Yeah, crock pot recipes would be really cool. The wallpaper's new as well. I can't show you my stuff yet. I will be able to show you it once it, the embargoes lift. It's not in this trailer though. And the bun bun is eating a little something on the floor too. And then back to the village uh, center here, the town center, there's little places to sit and eat. Uh, there's a little um, like well, people are just like vibing all around it about the town. This tree looks new. And that, oh, hello. And then uh, check this out. That is a pub. That is is an English pub right there. You can tell pretty much straight away that that is an old school English pub, which is really cool. Um, I think this pub was built by End of the Civil. We've also got a little stall here to sell your veg and a little, like a like green grocer type stall. I don't know how interactive that will be or if it'll just be set dressing, but it looks really, really cool. It looks like, you know how there's like events, like the Spice Festival? It looks like there's gonna be events in the town center where you can, let's see what we can see. like a crop rate ranking kind of thing 
This looks like maybe a try a dish type thing. As people start eating, I don't really know what other stuff you can do, but it's kind of got that village fair type thing. And a lot of places around here, like in England, will do these like town and village fets. It's spelled like fete, but I'm pretty sure it's just fet. And uh, yeah, it's interactive. You get to meet everyone in your town and it's very like small English town vibes. Willow is raging right now. Willow deserved this. Okay, so she's ranking everybody's um, foodies. That, by the way, it's not an eggplant. We're in England now. It's an aubergine. Uh, that is a tiny carrot. That is a cute sweater though. Very cute sweater. <gasps> Look what color he is from eating so many carrots. That's legit. I saw it in I saw it in um, scrubs. Uh, you can go get orange from eating too many carrots. He also has green hair, so he's very pot curry. The farms are all very impressed, very very impressed. And then we go back to our little Disney character at the start, who gets attacked by a chicken, which I'm kind of loving. I'm kind of loving. This is the new beautiful area. The little bun bun goes in here. We get to see the world. This is like you know those fairy like circle things. There are some ruins. There is a little house on the top of the mountain there. And we've got a waterfall as well with a cave, potentially. I don't know if it's explorable or not, but I can see a cave. So yeah, pretty amazing. Feed your soul. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Look, the llama's blue with sunglasses and a pride um, scarf. And then this one has a little rig out on and the kids interacting with them. Also a different rig out for the bun bun as well. The chick, look, we've got rosettes behind. Maybe we can get our chickens ranked. I don't know, but this chicken has a little tie on. A little tie on right there. Minecraft vibes. We can dye our animals potentially. I don't know. This is a rainbow cow. This is a rainbow cow right here. Look at the little chicks just all over the farm. So cute. The rainbow cow looks really cool. <gasps> I love the bun bun. Look at that giant toadstool. Look at that giant toadstool. Loads of them growing around here, actually. I love the bun bun. So if you pre-order the game, they will give you a reskin of a bike, a gnome statue of a chicken, and a delightful tree with the fairy lights. I, have they done that before? Have they done the whole pre-order and you get free stuff? I am gonna go ahead and jump now to the website so we can see some of the features in a little bit more detail. Raise or befriend animals. Cows provide flavored milk while chickens lay eggs in the Tazkoa. The forest look out for wild rabbits, foxes, and birds. Earn their trust for occasional gifts and help in the garden. So it looks like they will help you out in the garden if you befriend them, which is really cool. Live off the land. Lot challenges require fresh ingredients for each meal. R lot challenges require fresh ingredients for each meal. So you can cook you can, what you farm. You can cook specific foods from. Grow produce yourself. Uh, visit the village market or forage in the wild. You can forage in the wild for mushrooms and stuff. Up. Enter any oversized crops into the Finchwick Fair competition. Finchwick. Finchwick seems to be the name of the little town center area. Finchwick Fair. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. My builds are nowhere near as good as this. I'm just going to put that up there right now. Embrace village life. Henford on Bagley. A very English name, by the way. Bagley probably would be the name of the, the stream that ran through an area. You tend to get that, like, um, St Stratford on Thames. So Hen Henford on Bagley would be a town on a stream or a river. So Bagley would be the name of the river. Uh, Hanford on Bagley is a cozy place where everyone knows everyone. Very English life. Head down to the pub with your cross stitching and picnic baskets to meet the locals and learn more about the town's lore. It looks like it's gonna be really, really fun. It's a quiet village. There's way more sense prevent your life than you might expect. It's a small town, but the Sims who live here pl have plenty to flop their lips about. Have a Hemford heart to heart with the pub owners at the Gnome's Arms. So the pub is called the Gnome's Arms. Or a Sim running through a grocery store for some wild stories and gossip. If you're feeling brave, you might even approach the Crumple Bottoms garden booth for some advice. Just remember, Agatha is the friendly one, Agnes is the grumpy one, and they both love crumpets. So the old law is back. Sometimes the locals need a bit of help too, if you're up for it. And a few errands from them might yield some interesting presents. That's really cool. And every week the Finchwick Fair blows through the village, so we get it weekly, attracting all kinds of sims. The mayor judges rotating competition entries from pies to vegetables to chicken, and the rest of the villagers love to join in. And do have a cow. Cows, llamas, chickens, and bunnies, and foxes all live along your sims. Befriend wild rabbits, foxes, and birds for gifts and help in the garden, or focus your love and animals on the animal sheds. And uh, chicken co coops at home, or both. The more animals, the better. Sims with the animal enthusiast traits. That's new. Um, animal enthusiast is new. Um, especially love taking care of critters. Your relationship with each animal impacts how they respond to you, and treats can help you gather, gain their favor. Different animals, treats, um, and moods even produce different results. Changing the flavor of your cow's milk, the color of your lamb's wool, so 
your cow's milk, llama's wool, or the appearance of your chickens with specific goodies. So it sounds like the wild animals might give us things to like dress or dye our um, like domesticated animals, which is really cool. Uh, you'll need to find some choco berries out in the wild or add them to your grocery delivery order. You can order groceries again. Remember in the old games where like the fridges would be empty and it'd be like you have to order groceries? This says grocery ordery delivery again. We may be able to like order groceries and kind of do that, which would be really cool. Uh, and plant some roofs and vegetables, obviously. Thanks new gardening patches, folks um, are overly excited for the oversized crops. Pl uh, fill plots with giant watermelons aubergines, pumpkins and mushrooms and lettuce to really wild the neighbors. Get your kids out there and teach them how to care for the huge plants too. When they're full grown, the veggies, not the kids, enter them to Finchwick Fair or just collect a good harvest for healthy meals. The simple living lot challenge makes cooking cheaper, but it also means recipes depend entirely on what you've got in your inventory. If you decide to do the simple living lot challenge, your fridge will only have groceries that you get from your animals, you grow in the garden or you forage from the wild. So from a rags to rich point of view, you can have an entire rugs to riches experience where you can only get stuff that you actually manage to get. You can't just go into your fridge and get a lobster thermidor anymore. You've got to, if you decide to do this simple lot living challenge, then it's only what's in your inventory. So it seems like that's like maybe a lot trait that you give. You can forage for mushrooms and berries, borrow milk and eggs from your animals and keep your garden full. Missing something? Place an order with a locally delivery, a, a local grocery store shop and get the ingredients delivered right to your doorstep. So you can go out and order groceries or go into the town center and buy groceries, but they won't just be in your fridge unless you actively do them. Don't forget to tip the delivery person. Oh, well, tipping is not really a thing in the UK. We would never like tip a delivery person in the same way, but it's nice to do, I guess. Uh, speaking of cooking, bring the whole family together into the kitchen to make Yorkshire pudding. Yes, you can make Yorkshire puddings in The Sims. Oh my gosh, you don't understand. I am from Yorkshire. This is a constitution. This is a big deal. Beef Wellington or any other kind of delicious dishes on the menu. It really does make the kitchen the heart of the home. Yorkshire pudding is a big deal. It's... Uh, I don't want to overstate it, but Yorkshire pudding is a very big deal. It's a very big deal. It is. And if this is all music to your ears, that's great news. Even better, if you purchase the pack by 2nd of September, you get the bonus stuff. And you can pre-order it now. So don't hit the hay yet, as Summer of Sims has a few more rabbits to pull out of its heart before the cottage living arrives, so milk it for all that it's worth. <laughs> very, very exciting. So that is the new... It's not called Get English, even though I think I refer to it as that for most of my build video, just because I thought it was fun. It is called cottage living. If you do like um, your beautiful cottage core vibes, I'm sorry your heart is very, very full right now. Please go ahead. If you're on YouTube, let me know what you think of this new pack in the comments below. As soon as I have more details to share with you guys for my builds, I will be doing just that. And uh, if you're on YouTube, I'll see you guys in another video. Let me know if you guys are excited and goodbye.